mr president actually there is a connection because if you have a party and drink lots of fruit juices then you have to do the cleaning up afterwards so i think there is a direct logical link and that was a debate about helping consumers this is about saving the world so it is a very important debate. the commission proposal is to remove phosphates from the detergents which we put into domestic washing machines not uncontroversial all member states appear to agree the commission produced a very good draft regulation no controversy. why we want to take out phosphates i should add is because although they act as abrasives within the washing process and help to eliminate the dirt when they are discharged into water they cause eutrophication that is the green algae mr president that spreads across lakes and waters and seas depriving oxygen for the wildlife so we need to remove it so everybody agrees on that it came to the environment committee and we discussed it and we thought well that is a good step forward thank you commission for the proposal but why don't we throw in dishwashers as well because they also use phosphates in their detergents and the committee voted by 48 to 8 to include dishwashers and we thought good we are improving the situation for everybody but a small problem the council was taken by surprise by this change and did not agree and here I would like just to say a warm word of thanks to all my fellow the shadow rapporteurs and the other members of the committee who helped and the committee secretary to my own assistant they did a fantastic job working on this presenting a united front so we talked closely to the Polish presidency who were also magnificent in their enthusiasm and their cooperative spirit and they said well we don't have a majority in the council this is very difficult and so on the big moment of change, the turning point, came when Denmark had a national election and the reluctant government of the right, which had been resisting dishwashers, changed to a new government and the new Danish environment minister is a Green and immediately sent a signal saying, I'm reversing Danish policy and suddenly there was a chink of light in the council position and actually member states started to move towards the, the Parliament's position which was extremely pleasing. I asked to see my own minister in the member state I know best. He said he had absolutely no time at all to see me. I tried again, same refusal. Third time I was told I could half, have half an hour in about six weeks time. Finally got to see him, told it was completely impossible to agree to this. So I retreated, uh, dismayed and, and, and disappointed. Meanwhile, keeping in touch with the Polish presidency we found things were moving very satisfactorily towards a majority in the council. So we embarked on an informal first reading conciliation to try and explore whether we could find grounds for agreement on a single first reading. And uh, the council worked very hard and we reached a, a final document, um, which is pretty much the document in front of you here, Mr. President, um, which recommends um, both washing machines and dishwashers detergents be included. We then waited with trepidation to see what COREPA would actually make of this document we negotiated and to our enormous pleasure the message came back a, a, a few weeks ago that COREPA had agreed to the Parliament's position by 25 member states to two and to my amazement and yours Mr. President our coalition government changed its position but without telling me so it wasn't against any longer. So sort of a happy situation. So colleagues, I want to recommend the position that we've got from the Parliament. You're waving a, 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 a thing at me, Mr. President, quite rightly. It's a very good proposal, and I hope everybody can vote for this tomorrow.